Hello, I Sandeep Segal welcome you and also congratulate you on choosing the CISA preparation course from us. We have compiled this course and put together the information required to help you prepare for CISA exam. You are about to start the process of auditing information systems part 1 risk analysis. Agenda for risk analysis is we will cover basics. We will also understand the ISACA risk IT framework and lastly we would cover the risk analysis steps. Definitions and basics. Risk analysis is the study of underlying uncertainty of a give course of action. In case of IS audit they are the areas which need additional investigation and analysis. If we do not do risk analysis then we will use our experience and might not focus on areas where risk is high. The next topic is ISACA risk IT framework. The ISACA risk IT framework is in between generic framework and comprehensive framework. Detailed documentation from ISACA is available for this framework. In the figure we can see three major steps. Risk governance emphasizes on common risk view within the organization and further stresses to integrate IT-related risks with organization slash enterprise. Risk evaluation focuses on providing framework for risk assessment, which includes analysis and creation of risk profile. Risk response involves treatment and mitigation of identified risks through framework of processes. The following are some points which tell us about this framework's importance and purpose, a common framework to manage business as well as IT related risks. Based on organization risk appetite and tolerance the framework helps in taking decisions. The framework provides tools and techniques for end-to-end -end management of IT related risks. It also provides tips and guidance to practitioners for managing risks. Are you ready to discuss risk analysis steps? Let me discuss the steps involved in risk analysis. The first step is risk identification after evaluating business processes. The IS auditor will do threat analysis to identify and document risks. For each threat the auditor will also document the following attributes probability and impact of the threat using both qualitative and quantitative methodologies. To reduce the probability of the risk the mitigating controls or countermeasures are listed. They also document the updated probability after implementation of control. Once countermeasures are implemented still some risk is left and same is known as residual risk. Based on the severity of risk the countermeasures or controls are assessed. I thank you for joining my session. Enjoy my CISA preparation course. This is end of risk analysis. Happy learning.